Hey guys, it's David from mdbootstrap.com. Welcome to another tutorial from our MDB5 series. Uh, today we have a part two of our blog tutorial. So this is what we have created in the last tutorial, in the part one. Uh, so if you haven't seen it, please check the link in the description down below. Or if you don't want to create this from scratch, you can just go to our repository and download or clone this repository uh, to your local machine. And that's how you're going to get this starting point uh, if you don't want to recreate it from a scratch. So this is going to be our starting point. And what are we going to do in this tutorial? We're going to add some two cool features. The first one is lazy loading. So uh, this uh, this amazing feature allows us to save some bandwidth. Um, so just have a look. I'm going to refresh the page and check these images over here. So as you can see, these images are loaded when they become visible on the screen. So let me do it one more time and I'm going to open um, Inspector right now. Let's go to Network tab. So you're going to see that in the Image tab uh, we have now only these images. And now when I, when I start scrolling we will see more images coming. Like here, this 31, 32. Uh, let's do it again. So I'm going to refresh the one which are visible. So th the one below are visible for a second because the top ones are loading. Um, so they're already being loaded as well. But if we scroll down, you're going to see that the third row isn't loaded. And when I scroll down, you're going to see two more images over here. Uh, watch out right now. See, so these two images were were loaded on scroll, which obviously is a good way because if you have a long page uh, with a lot of content, you don't need to, uh, or actually our browser doesn't have to load all images at once uh, because we don't see them anyway, right? So the user might enter your page and see just the few, very few uh, pictures and then he might navigate to this blog post. So he's not going to see uh, pictures down below. So there is no point in loading them and downloading. Another feature is so-called infinite scroll. So this is something which you already know from um, pages from platforms like Facebook. So have a look at this. We have a six uh, articles over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now th this page is about to um, over. It's almost done. But when we scroll to the bottom, we're going to have two new articles unloaded. And this is happening continuously when we scroll down. So this is infinite scroll. So I'm going to show you how to provide a feed to our scroll. So uh, that's that way you can have uh, an infinite page. So if you have uh, some applications which uh, can load more and more data on scroll. So this is a perfect solution for that. So um, without further ado, let's get started. Let me just remind you that this part uh, we'll be using, we'll be utilizing MDB Pro. So uh, in order to start that, we will have to uh, get MDB Pro to our computer and we're going to update our project. So this one was built on MDB, uh, which is uh, MIT li license, which is MIT license, open source, so we can use it um, for free. And for this one, we'll have to get MDB Pro. So if you already have that, uh, just navigate to your orders and download this kit. If you don't have it, you can always uh, go and buy it. And once you do that, uh, once you download this, this package, once you download the starting uh, point over here, or you already have that because you followed my previous tutorial, then you just need to go to, to package and copy and replace CSS and uh, JS files. And that way our project has already MDB uh, Pro. And now we are ready to start developing our page. Let me get this one to the right side because this is the file which we're going to be working on. And let's open this in uh, Visual Studio Code. OK, so we're going to start with lazy loading. So in order to learn how to use lazy loading, Let's go to mdbootstrap.com page where you're going to find all the documentation. Let's navigate to Bootstrap 5, MDB 5. So this is the version. Um, 
and let's search for lazy loading component. So here we have an API and all the examples you can see. Uh, so if you're going to scroll down, you're going to see this examples. So as you can see, we can use it uh, both for images as well as videos. Uh, so we're going to use a basic example because um, this is it's very, very easy to use it. As you can see, what we have to do, we just need to do two things. So uh, we have to add two parameters and two attributes. We have to add two attributes. So the first one is actually replacing our source. So our image doesn't use the source anymore. Now it's called data lazy source. So this is the actual um, address of our image. Then we have data lazy placeholder. So this is something which we want to show before loading the actual image. So this is this kind of placeholder. And finally, what we have to do is just to add lazy class. So let's, let's, let's do it now. So I'm going to copy this part. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to our images and I'm going to replace this part with um, this part. So we are changing our attribute. We already have the URL. We just want to change this. So I'm going to get all the images at once and just replace it. So now we have this attribute source being replaced with data lazy source. Now let me copy this data lazy placeholder and paste it. And now let's also add this class. Uh, let's add lazy class and let's check the result. So as you can see now, after refresh, we already see that our images are, be are being loaded once we scroll. So as you could see, this was very easy uh, to use. Um, I hope you're going to enjoy it because it's a very powerful tool. So now let's move to the infinite scroll. So before we start working on infinite scroll, what we're going to do, we're going to uh, obviously remove the pagination because uh, it's not needed anymore. We have infinite scroll, right? And we're going to also get rid of footer because uh, you don't use that uh, when you use infinite scroll. So let's get back to our code and let's get rid of pagination, right? And let's get rid of our footer. So this is gone. Now let's navigate to documentation. Let's go to infinite scroll. So then again, you have um, examples over here, which shows you different options. And we're going to use last example window. And the reason behind it is because uh, we want to attach, uh, we want to attach um, our new elements into this uh, window uh, this element post. Uh, so I'm going to show you, let me, let me just copy paste this one and I'm going to quickly explain and go through, um, all the code, uh, one by one. So I'm going to copy JavaScript part, uh, and I'm going to paste it, uh, in our JavaScript. We are also, uh, we also need, uh, a placeholder. Uh, so here it is. This is, um, spinner. So the spinner is, uh, let me show you here. So when we, so this is this spinner, which is shown here, this animation, which suggests user that uh, content is being loaded. So we're going to add um, this spinner in at the bottom of our page. So let's do it. Okay. So we've added this one and now let's go through uh, a code of uh, our application. So, um, so here we have some variable to get to the elements, uh, like post. So this is our container, right? So this is the one which we, where we're going to add, where we'll be adding new post, uh, on load and spinner, obviously this is, uh, this is linked to this spinner. So it will be, uh, as you can see, it's, it has, um, style display known, and it will be changing once we start uploading. Then what we have is an array with, um, a uh, few attributes. So we have objects with, uh, with attributes like image, title, text. Obviously you can adjust it. Um, so you can create an array of different objects, right? We have image, title, uh, 
we have image title and text uh, but you could have like more right you could have like heading subheading um, images more images whatsoever some icons so these are variables and you can create as many as you wish and then we have post template so this is the html which is going to be added so every single post every new uh, every new article has this html structure so you can obviously change it adjust it uh, as you wish and then you can see that we are using our variables from here over there and they are uh, being dynamically and uh, they're getting dynamically updated um, inserted into our template and this entire template including our values is being injected into our html using javascript okay now uh, then we have uh, a piece of uh, JavaScript. Uh, we're not going to go into uh, much into details, uh, but just for your understanding, what's happening here is we are creating a row with a div with a class row because obviously every time we are adding two new posts, we want to have them in a new row so they would collapse correctly and according to uh, to the bootstrap guidelines and then finally uh, here we can define uh, how many uh, elements we have we want to have within uh, within a single row because we might want to have more elements within a single row uh, in our case we will be obviously adding two elements two columns for each row and finally there is some initialization so let's see how it works now let's refresh the page so lazy loading works as it's supposed to and now we will see the spinner over here and this is adding new elements on scroll okay so i hope that was easy um as you can see uh, mdb makes it very very easy to use this advanced script uh, obviously i encourage you to uh, play with it play with different options you can have uh, you can you can use different directions uh, you can use different options uh, and also i strongly encourage you to check uh, other components uh, other methods and so on because mdb really comes with a plenty of awesome components as well as utilities and, and many many more thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give us a like don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we are creating a lot of content like that so we're gonna have more tutorials we also had uh, previous tutorials on how to build a landing page uh, how to build a portfolio page so just check our channel md bootstrap channel you're gonna find a lot of videos over there you're gonna find a bootstrap find tutorial and um, once you create your page uh, also don't um, forget to join our group you're gonna find the link um, in the description down below and don't forget to share your projects over there thank you for watching again and see you in the next video